So this is something I haven't seen a lot of, of RPG YouTubers uh, talk about uh, in a video when it comes to Dungeons and Dragons. I may have missed it, it and if, if so, oh, I'm going to throw in my own two cents on this. Let's talk about Epic Boons. Greetings fellow adventurers, Fred here and welcome to the Flying Dungeon Master, the tabletop RPG show oh, intended to inspire your imagination by showing you my own. The Dungeon Master's Guide is a treasure trove of, of information um, uh, um, that can help you jumpstart the, the creation of your world in your campaigns. Means uh, this you know, but there's one feature that I haven't seen a lot of, of uh, RPG YouTubers talk about uh, from this book uh, when it comes to rewards for, for quests, and that is epic boons, which are essentially jacked up feats intended to be the rewards you get uh, after you hit level 20 in the game. Theme. And and uh, it isn't something I've uh, seen talked about a lot on YouTube, and I think it bears talking about. So I'm going to share with you who my personal favorite uh, t five uh, epic boons from the Dungeon Master's Guide in Fifth Edition Dungeons and Dragons. So without further ado, let's dive into it. My first favorite boon is is Boon of Immortality. I this one is pretty simple. It makes it it's so uh, oh you you stop aging and you cannot die from old age. I like playing in youthful characters, and this boon lets me uh, make my characters is uh, able to stay youthful for much longer, if not forever, unless they kick the bucket in some other way, like. Uh, stupidity in a dungeon or something of that nature, but uh, that is how we're kicking off this list. My second favorite boon, boon is Boon of Combat Prowess. There's another pretty straightforward one. It's rechargeable by a short rest and lets you make a, a, a missed attack hit. It, uh, very useful all in a tight spot, this one. For the third favorite boon, I'm cheating a little and putting two uh, ooh, favorite boons on on the same uh, um, slot, and those are Boon of the Fire Soul and Boon of the Stormborn because they're both pretty much essentially the same thing. In the, the uh, they uh, they basically grant you immunity to fire and lightning respectively, e and. And uh, they also allow you to cast uh, Burning Hands and Thunder Wave Eve, at will without requiring the spending of a spell slot. Uh, to, uh, uh, to, uh, to basically at will. So you basically have these really powerful spells as, as cantrips. Uh, so uh, how can I say no to heavy artillery uh, damaging spells? Closing in towards the end of the list, we have a Boon of Spell Mastery, which allows you to pick one spell uh, from the first level of, of Sorcerer, Warlock, or Wizard spell lists and, and uh, be able to cast it at its lowest level uh, without spending a spell slot. Uh, to, uh, as much as I like dealing damage with, with uh, spells, spells at range, I like to have a wide variety of spells at my disposal to throw at creatures or left, right, and center. Er, er, and and, uh, and uh, I believe versatility in a spell casting class's arsenal all makes for fascinating uh, in opportunities to, like, for one, show off off if you're a wizard that likes to show off that you can do all these kinds of spells 
roles, but it also oh boils brings in some um, role play opportunities to explain how you learned how to do those spells in the first place. And at the bottom of the list, we have Boon of Fortitude, which grants you 40 additional HP, which, which as cool as it sounds, does sound a bit bro over the top uh, broken, even for a boon, in my opinion. Uh, now, if I were to uh, play a game, I'd usually have a house rule that says if you take this boon, boon it ha you have to... Who uh, take you get at twenty additional HP rather than forty? Because I find twenty rather er, uh, more balanced. But but I may be in the minority. Let me know if you prefer the forty or twenty. Normally, when I DM a game of Dungeons and Dragons, and if and when my player characters reach each the appropriate level to uh, get at epic boons. I usually have a skill point system put in place. One skill point can be traded in for uh, a uh, ability score increase, just the normal one, uh, two in one stat or one in two stats. It's a two skill point in trade in can get you a, a, a basic feat and three skill points grants you an epic boon. Boon. Uh, uh, I haven't had any uh, player characters got get to these levels yet, so I haven't had to uh, implement this system, but uh, it's there ready if I need it. So those are my picks for my five favorite epic boons from Dungeons & Dragons 5th edition. And let me know down in the comments below uh, oh, what your favorites are and if you use them or not. And if so, how do you implement them? Um, in the meantime, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new around here, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss another video. You can find links down below to my social media as well as to pages where you can support the channel. Oh, you can also find an affiliate link for or the Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition Core Rule books down below as, as well. Or if you just want to drop me an email, oh, you can do so at this address. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you on the Trail of Adventure.